It's been two weeks since I had uploaded my previous video, my experience with the Neverwhere Cloud Ready, and I was just going through the comment section. Thank you, Siddharth Ramani. I have pinned your comment, brother. It says he said, uh, guys, check out the new Chrome OS Flex. Now I'd like to call it as the Flex OS. Now Google decided to surprise me, not me, everyone for that matter, regarding this flexing stuff. Now what is it? That's what we're gonna see in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and. In curiosity to check out regarding this OS, I googled it out and I was being led to this colorful website from Chrome Enterprise. Uh, it says try Chrome OS Flex. I clicked on this and it says try early version of Chrome OS Flex for free. Chrome OS Flex, such a long name. I'll just use it Flex OS. So I shut out all my information. It's pretty much like signing into the early access for the Flex OS, just like how you sign in with your Microsoft account for the Windows inside a program. I signed in and I was quite fascinated that I will get the download ISO link for uh, downloading the OS into my mailbox. But then I was again left with this news. It says, uh, Hi Sairam, thanks for your interest on Chrome, uh, Chrome OS Flex, blah blah blah. And it says, Visit the guide. I tried all these things yesterday and I'm just giving you a preview right now. So I just opened all these tabs. Once I clicked on this, it eventually will lead you to this prepare for installation. Now this installation step is pretty much the same as that covered on my previous video. If you haven't watched it, by the way, links in the description, first link. So this is just pretty much creating the bootable USB and then booting into your device and then signing in the random stuff. But if you're so curious right now to try this, uh, because it's not available publicly for direct download, it says on top Chrome OS Flex is currently released for early access testing direct public downloads not available. The Cloud Ready is the only solution which you can try right now. It's available for immediate stable deployment. That's what it's saying. The one more sentence which made a lot of uh, twist here is Google will automatically update Cloud Ready devices to Chrome OS Flex when Chrome OS becomes Chrome OS Flex becomes stable, which means earlier Google acquired Neverwhere. They had Cloud Ready under their control. Now they are trying to bring this Flex OS stuff into complete monopoly by crushing down Cloud Ready, or maybe let's see Cloud Cloud Ready and Flexos will coexist together. We'll have to wait for that, anyways. So for now, the time when I'm recording this and the time when you're watching, if you're really keen to install this, you will have to go to your uh, Chrome web browser or maybe even the Microsoft Edge. Uh, that's what I'm using right now. Uh, you you have to go to the the web browser extension store. That's what we we call it. Uh, and you have to get something called as a Chromebook recovery utility. It's made by Google for recovering your Chrome OS for your Chromebook. Uh, you have to just click on get started, select a model from the list. When you select the manufacturer, the thing which you are discussing is Flex OS right now, Google Chrome OS Flex. Select a product. Under this, it was being said as developer unstable. So which means just like it's being said on that footnote, yes, it is currently unstable right now for the version 14516.00, whatever. Uh, I clicked on continue yesterday. I don't have USB drives for now. I tried it yesterday for more than an hour. I had my SanDisk pen drive, but it didn't create to, it didn't uh, tend to boot the USB drives. And I looked into other YouTube videos of how this Flex OS actually looks like. It's pretty much uh, the same Cloud Ready OS uh, in the hood in the name of a new Flex OS. So that's what it's the same thing. Now, if I go to the other help page in the same Chrome OS Flex, I get something called as a certified models list. Now, here's where Google's gameplay really tends to get a little bit serious because what they have said here on top is uh, a free, the free upgrade for your PCs and for the Macs I've been waiting. So eventually even the older Macs, which can't support the new Mac OS, can at least run these uh, Chrome OS Flex and they can have the, a more longevity. That's what they're trying to make. Now under the certified models list, we get these verified to work, minor issues expected, major issues expected. Three sections, for especially for driver support and for its overall proper functionality. For example, I have my ThinkPad here, ThinkPad E14 made by Lenovo. If I go to the Lenovo tab, uh, I get this Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Gen 1, minor issues expected. So this is not Gen 1, this is technically Gen 0 with an Intel CPU. The Gen 1 is an AMD CPU. Minor issues expected. Now, what does this mean? Um, models are likely to support uh, at least basic functionality. Yes, that's for sure. Being still worked on our team, you might run into issues. So Google is still working hard in, in behind to support more devices into this list and to make most devices verified to work. So that is for sure. Now, this is one thing. The other thing which I was quite interested to know was the differences between the Chrome OS and the Cloud Ready. Uh, 
we get a long verbose wikipedia what i like to call home edition and the education and the enterprise which i covered in my previous video and the similarities that's where i was really being shocked because it says features not present some important features missing from cloud ready are also not to be supported on chrome os flex this is what i've selected and these include play store and android apps come on this is where is the major selling point for your os if you please include this if you at least do something if you do some a little bit of an r and d google if you're watching this please if you give the support this will take the game to a whole new level and parallels windows virtual boot machines not supported so same pretty much the exact cloud ready in the name in the new name it's like a old gene in a new bottle that's what we can call so this is what we know currently uh, we'll have to wait and see what is the future for this chrome os will be like and yeah this is a quick update video which i wanted to give you and i have pinned all the links in the description if you'd like to study more and know more regarding these topics so yeah this is sairam signing off take care